Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, radio video. So this is not a completed yet. It's not what I want, but uh, I'll be posting uh, the finished antenna here. So uh, first of all, here's DX the cat chasing birds in the tree right here. And he's really interested in some birds. So my antenna. The antenna goes here. Uh, it's a wire that is actually going, and you'll see, down here, right here. This is the neighbor's uh, kind of shed. And behind it, right there, there's a telephone pole. And I'm gonna zoom in on it so you guys can see it. My wire is actually attached to this telephone pole somewhere. So you see the shed here? It's somewhere here, right smack through the tree. So I've got the wire coming through the tree and it's almost impossible to see, but let's see it here close. I'm just gonna, here it goes. So this is the wire arriving at my place from that telephone pole back there. Now I need to place it better because it's stuck in a few branches, they're making it lower. But it's arriving here onto the coax here now this part of the coax is uh, sorry uh, plugged in a wire that's going inside the shed and completely down in the ground below so because I'm in this three-story building so you've got the coax now that comes here and gets into my home this is how the antenna is connected to my radio this goes through the kitchen uh, up to my um, office which is way in the front so there's like at least 75 feet of coax with this wire this wire the length of the wire from that pole to here is a hundred feet and I have been really really happy it's fantastic what I have found with this uh, really really great great reception noise level of course a little high it's a wire but since I get much more signals, it is much, much better um, and much more interesting, basically. So, uh, really am happy that I did that. So, basically, what I did is uh, at night, I went through the neighbor's yard, which is this is the neighbor's yard, and I went there in the corner to attach the uh, wire on the telephone pole and brought it through the tree. I, I actually put a little weight on it so that I can actually throw it over the tree as high as I could. And uh, this is a very thin wire. It's something like uh, gauge, maybe, I'd say 22, 24, something like that. Probably 22 gauge, something like that, going through the tree. So amazing reception and uh, really, really, I think this, uh, I just need to unstuck it from a few branches in the tree because it's actually going up through a, a, some branches here, but it goes down here to come back up. And I need to fix that so that the wire actually just goes through the tree as high as possible inside the tree and comes here. And also I need to give it a little bit of slack because since a tree, when it's windy, moves a lot, uh, the wire needs to be able to move with the tree without snapping. So um, what I will probably do is get new wire. Because this is a... I've had a little problem because of DX the cat that uh, was chasing it. So uh, I'm going to get a new wire. So uh, still there in the tree uh, chasing birds as you see. Oh man. So that's pretty much what I did. And I bring the coax, so let's uh, go into the house here. I'm going to show you guys uh, what it looks like. This is the recycling, sorry. So, wire comes in, uh, comes in under the door. Two wires, because one is for VHF and HF. Goes here next to the wall, so let's go to... Comes here, here, and gets to the radio that is down here. Uh, it is plugged in the back with a um, shielded uh, SO239 connector to the 50 ohm input in the uh, back of the receiver. So that's how I plugged my antenna to the radio. 
So great reception. Uh, you know, I just made a video of the BBC. I think I've never received a BBC on 9915 just so good. Uh, you know, uh, signals are really nice. CHU 7850 is amazing. <coughs> Even on uh, 3330. I barely heard 3330 in the past. Now it's coming in really well. Uh, WWV 25 megahertz. megahertz 15 so it's very amazing head of the South Africa Chamber of even Commerce. the 15 400 I've never uh, I, I couldn't hear it so well before so I think it's a winner this is gonna be my winter antenna that's for sure uh, I'm gonna set it up right just before we have some more snow actually some snow as we don't have any snow and it's actually very warm for this time of year so um, that's pretty much my setup I'll be uh, refining it. I'll probably be testing also a Unun because um, you know a lot of people use a 91 ballon, but on the antenna it's not a ballon, it's a Unun. And uh, I'll be testing that also, but extremely happy right now of the performance of this wire.